Div5 has a really cool update and I'd like to show you how it works. Let's say you have a website and there's an area on your page which you want to emphasize and in this case let's say it's this item here. So when I scroll notice that it's going to change its color and then it's also going to stick to the top and when I continue on you can see that it goes with that section. Okay now this can also be applied to your headers so if you want you can stick it to the top and then when you start scrolling it can also change color. So this is what I'm going to be showing you in today's tutorial. So let's go ahead and create this from scratch. So over here I'm going to go to plus and then add a brand new page. So let's just call this page demo two like that. Now in this example, I am using SiteCrafter framework. This just allows me to design my websites super, super fast. All right, so let's go ahead and add a new row. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and add two columns and in here, I'm going to add a text module. I'm gonna go ahead and set it. Now, I also want to add a background color to this and also add some padding. So for that, I am just going to come over here to my background and I'm gonna add my background color. So I'm gonna go with something light like that. Next, I'm also going to go into the advanced tab and then go to CSS ID and classes. So this is where I want to add equal padding around my item. So I'm gonna say padding dash large. Okay, so now you can see we have equal padding and I also like to make sure that I have my responsive fluid typography all set. All right, so now that that is done, over here we just wanna add a few more elements so that our page is populated. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my image here and I'm just gonna add my dummy image for SiteCrafter like that. Next, I'm gonna add, let's say a new section. So let's go ahead and do that by coming over here. Click here to add a regular section. This time it's gonna be a single column. Right, so let's go ahead and add an image as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in IMA and then I'm gonna set my image. Now we wanna make sure that our image is centered. So I'm gonna come over here, alignment, and then center this image. Okay, great. Now there's a few also things I need to add here and perhaps maybe it's a text element. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my, add my text module like that. Now, of course, I want this all centered and I also want this to be text that is easy to read. So I'm going to come over here and then I'm going to say SK dash content like that. And then finally, all I need to do is to center it. So I'm going to come over here to my sizing and then center the module. So now you can see my text here is very easy to read and it is all centered. Maybe one final thing I can also do here is to add my margin top. So I'm gonna set my margin to large. So I'm gonna say margin top large like that. So now I have nice spacing. Finally, I want to separate my sections by just adding a very light color here. So I'm gonna to go to my background. In fact, I'm gonna come over here to advanced, CSS ID and classes, and then I'm going to name this light. Okay, that's a bit too dark, so I wanna make it lighter. So I'm just gonna type in lighter. Okay, so now I have my basic page. Finally, perhaps maybe I want to add a bit of padding on my section. So I'm gonna come over here, CSS ID and classes, and then I'm just gonna say large section. So this just allows me to add nice padding around my design. Okay, great. So now that I have this, I'm gonna hit publish. The next thing that we need to do now is to make sure we apply our settings to our item that we want to make sure is active. So to achieve this, you need to come all the way up here to advanced, and then you wanna to go to scroll effects. Next, you wanna make sure that it's sticky. So I'm gonna click on this drop down, and then I'm gonna say stick to the top. Right, so now when I scroll, this thing is going to be stuck to the top. But notice what happened. What I've done right now is I've made the whole section sticky, okay? So you can see now the top section is not moving anywhere. So you need to decide what item or what element you want to make sticky because this sticky element here works pretty much on everything. All right, so let's go back to our original plan, which is to make this item here sticky. So I'm going to come back and then I'm going to say, do not stick. Okay, now let me select my item here. We go to advanced and then we're going to come all the way down to scroll effects. Then on this drop down, we're going to say skin, stick to the top. And I want to limit this to this actual section because if I don't, then it's just gonna stay on top and then everything else is gonna scroll under it like that. Now that looks a bit messy, so we don't wanna do that. So over here now, we're gonna say in section, okay? So that means when I scroll, 
it's going to be stuck in that section and then it's going to go up. But we're not done with our design yet because we want that when it gets stuck here on the top, we want this to stay highlighted. So this is where now we're going to incorporate the latest feature, which is right over here. It's the sticky item. And you're going to notice that before we only had hover, but now we have this sticky. Okay. So when I select sticky, that means that everything that I'm going to do here is going to be activated when, when whatever item that I'm working on is sticky. So in this case, it's this text element. So I'm going to select it, come over here to the background and we're going to add a dark color. I mean, in fact, we can add whatever color we want. We can even add our primary color like that. Now, since we want contrast in here, we definitely need to go in and change our text color. So we're going to come over here and set our text to white. And now pretty much our design is done. Now, just remember that you also need to come here and go back to your desktop to complete the design. Now, let's go ahead and save. And then we're going to go ahead and do a quick preview and see if this one now works. So when I scroll, this should stick to the top like that. And then when the section catches up, it's going to go. Now, do you see how it just changes color when it is activated with the stick to the top feature? Okay, so that's pretty cool. Next, perhaps maybe you may want to use this on, let's say, a header. Okay, now let me show you how to do that. So I'm just going to come over here to this one and we're going to disable the feature. So we're going to come all the way down here and say, do not stick. And then we're going to save. Okay, great. So if we wanted to apply this to our header, well, it can also be done. We're going to come over here to our theme builder. By the way, if you haven't signed up yet to Div University, go ahead and do that because this is a community of designers who are designing websites using Divi. It's absolutely free for your membership. So head over to diviuniversity.com. All right, so let's continue on. So here we want to work on our header because at the moment, when I refresh here, you're going to see that uh, our header is not sticky. Look at that. I mean, it doesn't change color. It is sticky, but it doesn't change color. So if you wanted your header now to change, you'd come over here like that. So in this case, I have several headers. I mean, that's a tutorial for another day. So today, let's just focus on this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. And we are now going to go to advanced scroll effects. And we want to then make it stick to the top. Okay, so it's stuck to the top, which is good. So the next now item we're going to work on is to work on the background. And so we, can now, we are now going to go into sticky. All right, so with sticky selected and our background, our backgrounds, I mean, our section selected, we can now go to our background. So this is where you can go in and pretty much just change everything. So for example, let's say I want a really dark header like that. So notice that while we are in this, in this mode, I can also go to my module sections for my menu and also change a few items. So I'm going to come over here to design menu text. So I'm going to change now this text to white so I can read it. Okay. I can also go ahead and change this icon and so on. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to go in and save. And then let's do a quick preview. I'm just going to refresh that. So now when I scroll, look at that. It's now changed its color. So this is a very, very easy way to now start applying our sticky feature where we can go in and change our colors. By the way, if you haven't purchased Sidecrafter yet, you notice that in the beginning of this tutorial, I could go in and add all my classes and build my page really, really fast. That is because I'm using my framework called Sidecrafter. It is 40% off at the moment. And when you purchase it, you're going to get a lifetime membership, which will give you full access to any current and future courses, child themes, and uh, starter sites that I'm going to create in the future. So it's only $167. You purchase that, and I'll give you access also to a specific community on Div University for designers that are using Sidecrafter. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.